Hello everyone, welcome to Frontier Hotspots, it is a channel focusing on the most cutting-edge technology and engineering in China and the world. Welcome everyone to follow the channel. On August 5th, high-speed EMUs and comprehensive inspection trains tailored for the Jakarta Bandung high-speed railway using Chinese standards were successfully rolled off the assembly line in Qingdao, China. 11 high-speed EMUs and one comprehensive inspection train will be shipped to Indonesia. As China's first high-speed EMU exported to foreign countries, the Yuan high-speed EMU is another masterpiece of China's high-end equipment going out. Relying on China's Fuxing EMU technology platform with the highest commercial operation speed in the world, the train integrates Indonesian local culture, adapts to the local operating environment and line conditions in Indonesia, and is tailor-made for the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway. The jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway is one of the landmark projects of the Belt and Road Initiative and the pragmatic cooperation between China and Indonesia. It is also the first time that China's high-speed railway has been implemented overseas with a whole system, all elements and a whole industry chain. So as the first high-speed railway in Southeast Asia with a speed of 350 km per hour, what Chinese standards does it have? The body of the Jakarta Bandung high-speed EMU has a streamlined appearance and is painted in silver and red, which means prosperity. It is equipped with a red polygonal pattern abstracted from the texture of the Indonesian national treasure animal Komodo dragon, reflecting the harmony between man and nature. The concept of symbiosis, the main colors of the interior are gray, red and blue, which are taken from the Indonesian Borobudur pagoda, the national flag and the ocean, the seats are embedded with Indonesian badik style auspicious cloud patterns. The high-speed EMU of the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway is a power-dispersed EMU with a maximum operating speed of 350 km per hour. It has the characteristics of advanced technology, safety and intelligence, strong environmental adaptability, and distinctive local characteristics. Adapt to the operating environment along the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway, adopt intelligence sensing technology, and configure earthquake monitoring and early warning system. Through more than 2,500 detection points set up in the whole vehicle, timely detection, early warning and diagnosis of all key systems can be carried out, the streamlined head type with low resistance is adopted, the body smoothing design and regenerative braking energy recovery technology are more low carbon and energy saving, high standard corrosion resistant design and advanced protection technology are adopted, which are more resistant to salt spray and ultraviolet aging, set high. Acceleration mode, climb the slope performance is better, and it can achieve safe starting on a large slope of 30 per thousand. The high-speed EMU of the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway has a large passenger capacity, complete service functions and comfortable rides. The EMU consists of eight cars, including one first-class car, one dining car, six second-class cars, and a total capacity of 601 people, including 18 VIP seats, 28 first-class seats, and 555 second-class seats. At the same time, the reconnected operation of the two sets of EMUs can be realized. Car number 4 is equipped with barrier-free areas, equipped with barrier-free seats and armrests, toilets for the disabled, SOS call buttons, braille guide signs and other facilities to facilitate the travel of disabled passengers, dining car number 5 is equipped with vending cabinets, coffee machines, refrigerators, there are microwave ovens and other equipment, as well as a casual bar table, to meet the dietary and leisure needs of passengers. The jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway Comprehensive Inspection Train is painted in yellow and integrates testing equipment such as line tracks, catenary, and communication signals. The jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway connects the Indonesian capital Jakarta and the famous tourist city Bandung with a total length of 142 km and a maximum design speed of 350 km per hour. Factors and the entire industrial chain of overseas construction projects adopt Chinese technology and Chinese standards across the board. At present, all the jakarta Bandung high-speed railway tunnels have been completed, and more than 90% of the civil works of roadbeds, bridges and stations have been completed. The completion and opening of the jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway will help promote the continuous deepening of the high-quality joint construction of the Belt and Road cooperation between the two countries, and will also play an active role in promoting the building of a China-Indonesia community with a shared future.
In addition, this also means that Indonesian nationals will soon be able to get on the high-speed rail. In the past, it took Indonesian people three hours to travel from Jakarta to Bandung, but now it only takes 40 minutes, so Chinese infrastructure is very popular with locals. When it comes to China's high-speed rail, I believe everyone will wonder, why does China spend so much time helping other countries build high-speed rail? In fact, the success of this type of infrastructure is as valuable as winning a war. The ultimate goal is economic benefit. First of all, building a country's high-speed rail is a big project. China is responsible for contributing its own efforts, which can create some jobs for the Chinese people, and the income is not low. The steel, cables and other materials needed for the construction of high-speed rail can also be transported from China. If so, the excess production capacity is also consumed by the way, in exchange for money. Secondly, Indonesia's population density and land area determine that the country needs high-speed rail. Once the high-speed rail is built, the population of Indonesia will flow, and the flow of all walks of life will be accelerated. In this way, the government can collect a lot of money. The cost of repairing the high-speed rail is a small amount of money, so it is a good thing for Indonesia. The development of Indonesia is also good for China. The two countries can conduct trade exchanges, and the goods of Chinese companies can be shipped there to sell. Then there is the socialist country with Chinese characteristics. Whether it is for the convenience of people's production and life, or for national strategic needs, infrastructure construction will always be necessary. After so many years of repairing the Jakarta Bandung high speed railway, the Chinese construction team can accumulate a lot of knowledge and experience, which will be helpful for the future. For example, a track system independently developed by China was used for the first time in the overseas project of the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway. India chose Japan to build the high speed rail back then, but now it's almost unfinished. To put it bluntly, isn't it the Japanese construction team's technical skills? These technologies are not in vain, they are all hardcore materials produced by China's infrastructure construction bit by bit. There are strategic considerations for China to help Indonesia build a high-speed rail. If high-speed rail is not built, Indonesia will have to use oil for transportation. After various wars in the last century, the United States has pinpointed many countries on oil, but high-speed rail does not use much oil. China's crazy construction of high-speed rail abroad means that it is fundamentally shaken U.S. global hegemony. Moreover, the United States has always cooperated with other countries to block China. Now the Chinese construction team has developed to Indonesia, and then there will be Chinese merchant ships sailing there, slowly radiating from Indonesia, so that the blockade of the United States will be self-defeating. In my opinion, China's construction of high-speed rail is a strategy, because Indonesia is happy, China is happy, and the people have money. Why not do this kind of thing?